Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. I'm Marta Eileen. We're going to tap into a love reading for you guys today. See what messages spirit has about that special person on your mind, your heart, your spirit. Please do remember, this is a general reading. Sometimes the roles can also be reversed, all right? So please take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, all right? I appreciate you, and I do pray that these messages will find you well. All right, Capricorn, let's get the... Ah, yes, I'm so glad they did not go overboard. <laughs> let's get the overall energy here for your love connection. There's more to that line in that song it's like an old school song neither one of us wants to be i think it's like the first to something i don't know okay so we have athena here with wise decision some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius they had that same uh card crown in their love reading okay Cups. All right. All right. Okay. Somebody is gone into hermit mode or that's you. Okay. And they're thinking about you. Okay. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Virgo. Justice could be a Libra. The higher font, the ten of swords here. Okay. Vacant. Or vacant. Some of you moved out. Some of you, this person moved out. Two of Pentacles. Should I stay or should I go? Why am I hearing that? Seven of Pentacles too showing up. And the High Priestess. Whoa. Is that you thinking to leave or this person? Let's get how you're thinking about this person. The King of Cups. The Queen of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Your feelings look totally different than this person's. You have a lot, you have a lot of love. I mean, like you, you really look at this person with such endearment. The King of Cups, Queen of Cups, I mean, perfect match. Knight of Cups right in between you two. Okay. For some of y'all wondering if this person's involved with somebody, right? Okay, because that is just like weird energy. Yeah, okay, Hierophant in reverse. Okay, Five of Swords, Three of Cups. There it is. And I, oh my God, thank you, Spirit. I knew that, like, from the jump. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the Taurus as well. It really feels like this person, I'm just going to keep it real, could be playing a dangerous game with your emotions okay five of swords three of cups here this person could be involved with somebody else some of you know this okay and some of you could be expecting this person to leave where they are and leave who they're with okay like you guys could have had these talks and things like that some of you dealing with an aquarius or a cancer yeah six of cups ace of pentacles i'm dying to see what's behind that yeah king of swords you guys have talked about this before time and time again and i feel like this person has left you hanging in the past with this too um ten of pentacles and see this is i don't yeah okay take your personal feelings out okay um because you really like ten of pentacles here unless the roles are reversed which remember again they can be um you really look at this person like total package yeah death card queen of pentacles here all right let's get to it why why is it not coming together this the Knight of Wands, see what I'm saying? Ten of Wands here, the Five of Wands. All right, so this is gonna, yeah, let's just be real here. Um, this person, it's like they use this connection as a way to find relief, 
okay, in their life. With the Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands, they could have a lot of responsibility where they are, like where they're situated. Like, for example, if they are married and they live with that person, they could have a lot of responsibility, especially if they have children or they have, you know, shared assets, assume, assuming they have shared assets. There's a lot of responsibility for this person. And this person goes through a lot of like arguments, bicker, bickering challenges at home as well with the knight of wands here very impulsive um this is also sexual energy too so it does feel like this person uh can use this connection as a way to escape as a form of escapism okay yeah the knight of cups and the justice card the lovers and the four of wands yeah okay and so The Emperor, the Ten of Swords, oh, the Devil, okay, see, yeah, and see, all right, they already give it, like, this person could be coming to you, right, and it's that whole, it's, it's the old tale of, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck in this thing, I'm trying to get out of it, and this person's just got me, it's a trap type of thing, and that's what this person has you believing, Okay, yeah, Ten of Swords, the Devil, that's you, Capricorn, but also it's could represent what this person's in right now. Yeah, Ten of Cups in the world, and they could be saying, you know, when, <coughs> excuse me, they could be saying, when this is over, we're going to have our happy family, we're going to have our fresh start, our new beginning. So, all right, what do they want from you? What does this person want from you? Eight of Pentacles. The Strength card, the Three of Wands, okay? So there is this thing of like, you know, wait on me type of thing. Wait on me, I'm working on it. Death and Temperance here, yeah. Ten of Swords here. The world and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, they're saying, like, just wait till I get on my feet type of thing as well. What do you want from me? The Star. King of Swords, the Five of Wands. You do want them to make a decision to choose you, okay? Justice, the Six of Cups, to make everything right. Everything that they said that they were going to do to follow through on that. You really do genuinely want that from, from this person. Um, what, are, what are their intentions? This person's true. The Empress, okay? The Two of Swords, all right? Hi, and the Six of Wands here. This person's torn. Torn in between the two. Cause I really wanna be with you. Tell me about the universe here. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so I feel like whoever, for, for whoever, I, if this person has kids with the person that they're still dealing with, I do feel like this person could continue to go back to them. Um, just very clean cut. It really does feel like it, this person could continue to do that. It's almost like wherever they're receiving attention at the time, that's where they will go. They're giving me Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Like, these are the vibes. What's going on in this person's home life that Capricorn does not know about? What's going on in this person's home life? The Three of Swords. Yeah. King of Pentacles. This person's getting the same person you are, okay? And the Nine of Cups, this is a selfish, 
person here, okay? Seven of Cups, the Nine of Wands here. Yeah, this person just gets what they want, okay? That's, that's what they've been getting so far. Um, especially if this is somebody who is um, well off financially. Okay, this could also be somebody who's into polygamy, okay? And that's not to shame anything or like, but just saying, if you don't know, or some of you might know. Um, but this person could be somebody who's into polygamy or, you know, not into monogamous relationships or just being with one person, okay? Okay. Wowzers. All right. I'm new to them this week. The Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands here. Excuse me, you might be fighting for their attention a little bit this week. Okay. Yeah. Ten of Cups, the Moon, the High Priestess. Yeah. Again, especially if they have these other obligations. All right. And you might be feeling that this week. Um, and you could feel a little emotional about it. Queen of Cups. And the Four of Cups. And this person will know that you're feeling that. Okay, yeah, two of wands, especially if they flake on some plans or they're like, oh, I can't make it. I got to do this or something, you know, they're going to feel they, they they feel that you feel it. Right here. Ace of cups, ten of wands, eight of wands, and they are going to try to make it up. Okay. Okay. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could also be a Sagittarius as well. Oh, where are those came from? All right. What guidance do you have for Capricorn in this situation, Spirit? Okay, the Tower and the Five of Swords here. For some of you, if you know that this person's involved with somebody else or married or in some type of serious commitment, the Tower and the Five of Swords is spirit telling you that you know what's coming. And like, okay, ta, the devil, there you go. So that's confirmation right there. Hmm. Eight of Wands and Five of Cups behind that, the world and the Five of Pentacles. This might be a hard message for some of you Capricorns to hear because I do feel that there is a lot of love on your side. Like genuinely, there is a lot of love on your side for this person. Um, but it does feel like Spirit is saying this might have to be something that you let go of right now. Okay, especially if it starts to pull on your health. Um, how are you doing? Dealing. Three of Wands. All right, so I do feel like you are able to exercise a little bit of patience right now with the Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles here, because I do genuinely feel like you believe this person will, you know, leave this other situation. And, you know, energies do change. Okay. Two of Swords, Three of Swords here, though. But from what I'm seeing right here, it does not look like it looks like this person, you know, just goes back and forth, honestly. Just completely being honest. Okay, so let's get this card right here. Okay, we have the new moon in Virgo here, okay? And it says, trust that all will be well. Now, for some of you, if you've already made that decision to move away from this, okay, um, then I feel like this is definitely telling you that, you know, because I feel like, for those of you who are going to be making that decision to move away from this connection, I do feel like it can be tricky. It can be difficult. And I feel like that's reassurance for you. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting read. It says love in spite of it all. Before this odyssey ever began, there was you, your best friends, and wide-eyed curiosity among you about who would be the first to leap, the first to forget, the first to kiss, the first to tell, the first to fall, the first to get back up, and the first to remember that it all began with a dare, to love in spite of it all. It says, P.S. I remember the glint in your eyes, all three of them. I feel like the most significant part of that was the three. Uh, I don't know why, that just hit. Um, some of you are in a throuple, okay? Some of you are knowingly in a throuple, and it feels like one person in the throuple is not feeling it 
anymore, okay? And wants more attention or something like that. If that's you, that will definitely resonate, right? That's very specific, okay? That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I really hope that that um, you got some reassurance, some comfort, some confirmation here. I pray that everything works out for the best for all of you. I wish you all the best, and I pray that these messages find you well. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.